Hey, was it? So I think I've stumbled upon an indicator that looks fairly good at spotting market tops and market bottoms for cryptocurrencies that exhibit herd like behavior. To illustrate here, I've got a chart of Ripple. So you can see this black line over here. So this is the price of Ripple. And these red lines that are shooting up very high, I'm not very interested in the ones that are lower than the average. I'm looking at the ones that are higher than the average. These red lines that are shooting up high are showing where there could be weakness and like a breakage that's about to happen in the market structure. And so here this red line shoots up and we can see not long after the price goes down. Here the red line shoots up not long after the price goes down. It even happened here. Here's a big one. It shoots up really high here and for sure not long after the price shoots down. Here again and here again. And what's interesting about this is this is a leading indicator. This is looking at what's likely to happen ahead of time. And the way I came across this was actually from this YouTube channel over here from not only science. I was traveling to Greece and I wanted to learn about physics applied to time series or market data. And I came across this video. Let me just play you this very quick snippet here so that you can understand what's going on. Speculative bubbles are like a material under stress and the elements of the material are the various financial agents. If the financial agents begin to behave in an organized way, following a herding behavior, then the entire system becomes very unstable. And small cracks appear in the system always more frequently, triggering. So this is really, really interesting. He's saying small cracks appear more frequently in the market after this price has been exhibiting a herd like behavior in a speculative bubble. Cryptocurrency, right? So this makes sense. This seems to be an approach that could work quite well in cryptocurrency. Eventually the market crash. And of course, then afterwards, the market is crashing. So very, very interesting video. And thank you to not only science for doing such a great job of explaining what was going on over there. But I did some research afterwards to see, is there an indicator that exists for that? And I came across this website here, avoiding bubbles. So signals.boulderinvestment.tech. And you can actually click on like a market map over here, what they call a risk map on different countries to see if those countries are exhibiting any risk. So right now, for example, if I go to Japan and I click on Japan, then over here I get, you know, this chart here with an overlay of like a risk measure. I'm not so interested in this as such. I'm interested in applying it to cryptocurrencies where I know there's herd like behavior on certain cryptocurrencies. And so here, for example, here is ApeCoin. And the goal here would be, you know, can I spot this market top over here, for example, and a potential market bottom. And so what I will do actually is just get rid of these candles because they're pretty useless for this. So let's just go to a line chart. So here's ApeCoin. And when I go and show you exactly what I ran for ApeCoin over here, you'll see indeed this oscillation increases here where there was a hype up in price and this instability. I, I picture it a lot like the procession of a spinning top, almost like that spinning top in the film Inception, you know, if spinning top and then as it wants to fall over, it processes, it gets more unstable and it crashes. And that's what I picture this like. So here you can see we had a lot of activity here. And so if you were trading ApeCoin and people were FOMOing in and you were curious, is this market structure likely to break? Is there likely to be a reversal here for ApeCoin? This would have been really handy to know about. And the same here is true for the upside. So very recently we saw a big spike up here just before this downside happened there. And who knows what's going to happen next, but it would be very interesting if ApeCoin starts to trend upwards or shoot upwards. Now, the way that I went and actually ran this algorithm is first of all, I found the Python library that I think these guys here created. And so I'll link that here in the comments as well. So you can just go pick up this Python library and I just stuck their example code into Google Colab to make sure it all works. And here I can see it for, you know, NASDAQ um, on some data that they actually provide for you. Now, what I will warn you about is that crunching the numbers here takes a bit of time. So I actually wrote something on my local machine to do this. And so what I did here was just grab some data, for example, from crypto wizards, I found that the quickest way. And I just went and if you go here to X Trader and data manager, just go to add data if you're going to get the data from here. And then for example, I could put in chain links, so link uh, USDT, 
you know, and then go and download that data. So get data. And once that data is downloaded, you can just download it here. So for example, if I want Chainlink, just click on that, that'll download it for you. And then what I did is I just wrote a Python script here using that Python library. And again, I'll link to all of this as well. I'll probably put this up on Code Raiders or something. But essentially all I did was just drop the data that I downloaded in here and just rename the data to be something really straightforward like APUSDT or QQQ for NASDAQ or SPY for the S&P 500. So I pulled all that data. And then I started crunching some of this. And all you need to do here, once you are in Python in your virtual environment, and you have you know these libraries installed, is there's not much code here, actually. It's very easy to run. You can just go python3 main.py, and that's it. That'll just go and run it. So it takes time to run this, but what it'll do is actually go and save within the confidence folder here. It will go and save the image of that indicator overlaid on top of the price data. And so for example, here's what it looked for like for Bitcoin. And so you can see here every time it's saying there looks to be some kind of structural change that'll happen for Bitcoin. Here it is for NASDAQ. And it seems funnily enough to be very good at finding market bottoms. So changes in the structure for market bottoms on the queues. Ripple was just ridiculous to me. I was like, how can this thing be so good? Because it is picking up these oscillations, you know, ahead of time, how could it be so good? And if you were trading this on Ripple, you would have done very, very well to spot those. If you were to consider trading this on something like the NASDAQ or the S&P 500, I think that it could potentially be very useful, not for avoiding when to trade. So not using it as a risk mitigation tool, because I don't think that would work very well. Uh, I saw another video where someone had done that and they said it didn't work great. But I think what it could be useful for is for shorting or buying put options, either one. If you want to short without a heavy amount of risk, buying put options is a great way to do that. And so if we go and look at an options chain, for example, here for July the 7th, right now I'm on the 26th of June, so more than a week into the future, and I go and look at, say, the put options, if I look at the price today, the price is around 434, right, on the SPY. If I go and drop that by a price of say all the way down to, I don't know, 355. So that's a huge drop, right? That would show a big crash that would need to happen to go from 433 down to 355. Well, my option price is only eight cents a contract. So I can afford to buy out of the money put options that if they were to become in the money, i.e. if the price was to drop there, they'd go from being eight cents all the way up to say $3 or $3.20 or $3.50, for example, depending on how fast that move happened. And so if you saw a huge spike up, so if I go back to this chart here and I just zoom into this price action over there, let's just zoom up a bit. If I was to see a huge spike up happen here, which is a high confidence that there's a lot of volatility happening and then you know, anticipate a downward move to the market, that could have paid off very, very well because you can be wrong a lot of times and still make profit because your risk to reward is just so damn good. Anyway, I found that really interesting and I wanted to put something together that we could actually go and use and implement here as wizards. So I'll definitely put links in the description for this. And until the next one, take care and talk soon.